What's up, Live Pops, and welcome back to another part of Final Fantasy 16. In the last part, we started the game off, we saw things we already saw, and in this part, we're going to continue on seeing things we've already seen because it's we've seen just went. up past the demo. It isn't only for control of the Mother Crystal, above all else, we cannot allow those iron blood savages to gain a foothold on Storm. I know. I would sooner die than see them darken our shores again. I wish you a safe journey tomorrow. And I you, Ply. May your blade strike true. What is good about doing this the second time around is I didn't get that, uh, those dialogues. I didn't talk to these two, so... We drew the iron blood from our shores once before. But their patriarch still dreams of spreading his message to Storm. And when the Crusaders march, they move a damn sight quicker than the Blight ever did. So we recapture the Mother Crystal, end their ambitions, and secure the duchy. Only the light of the Phoenix can guide us through these dark days. But that does not mean I'm happy asking this of Joshua. Look after him, won't you? Even if it costs me my life. Let's make sure it doesn't come to that. Okay. So, like, yeah, I did actually do those two bits of dialogue, so it's nice to see them. Uh, this time around. I just obviously didn't notice that I could talk to them, so I didn't. We made good time on it. Last time, uh, the first kind of part took us 54 minutes, and it took us only 34 minutes that time. Uh, obviously we're gonna have a little- I mean, we're, we're talking to more people, so it could take longer, or it could take less time, because we know what we're doing combat-wise. Because I believe we get into the combat this part. When we go on our little mission. How long will you be away this time? Not long. Four days, maybe five. And you will be taking Joshua? Well, I can't exactly leave him behind, can I? The blood of the Rosfields runs in his veins. Before going to war, we perform the rite at Phoenix Gate. It's our way. You know that. And only the dominant can enter the apothecary, so yes. I'm taking Joshua. Oh, to hell with your way! The boy is ill. You think I don't know that? But the boy is also the phoenix. The heir to the throne. You can't keep him in swaddling clothes all of his life. Elwyn! Don't worry. Clive will watch over him. Though he is a youth of but 15 years, He's already a fine soldier. He will make a splendid shield. You see more in him than the Phoenix did. He was rejected, Elwyn. Our household has no place for such a failure. He is worthless. A man like any other. As am I, my dear. <laughs> Nonsense. You are the Archduke of Rosaria. Oh, not this again. You know as well as I do that I only sit upon the throne because my father was taken before his time. I am merely warming the seat till Joshua comes of age. You are your father's firstborn son, and you sit upon the throne. All is in its right place. Unlike some, you have not disgraced our noble blood. Without men like Clive to keep us safe, your precious noble blood would long since have graced the gutter. We have an early start. I'm going to sleep. This is it, then. Time to prove yourself. Wishing on a star? Emily, 
little old for that. I should get some sleep. Right. You're going with them tomorrow, aren't you? I am Joshua's shield. I'm sworn to protect him. He takes too many risks. I only wish I could save him from himself. Clive, you... I have another mission too. Father has given me my first command. Well, if you're not going to pray to Metia for your safe return, I shall just have to do it for you. During the silence, let's go away thing. So I did read these ones, um, obviously on stream, so let's get them reread again. The burning red star that sits beneath the moon, folklore ascribes the Metia the role of the message bearing to the moon. So it's common custom across Philistia to wish upon the star that one heart's felt desire might be conveyed to the heavens and beyond. Born a princess of the northern territories, Jill was made a ward of Rosaria after her homeland's incessant raids were quelled by the D Duchy. She was raised in Rosa Rosalith Rosa la la la, a castle alongside Clive and Joshua, who came to love her as a sister. Firstborn son of the Archduke Elwyn, ruler of Rosaria, though all expect him to inherit the phoenix flame and awaken as a dement dominant. Destiny instead chose his younger brother Joshua to bear the burden. In search of his role, Clive dedicated him to mastering the blade, and his practice paid off when he was appointed first shield of Rosaria, tasked to guard the phoenix and blessed with the ability to build a part of this flames. There's going to be another war, isn't there? Since coming here, I've begun to take peace for granted. I assumed the war between our nations would be the last. But it never really ends, does it? No. The next war will be bigger than before. But you'll be alright, won't you, Clive? You're a shield of Rosaria, after all, and blessed by the Phoenix. It's getting cold. We should go in. Yeah. Oh. We won't be hunting today. Oh, baby. Best birds. Don't worry. I'm sure you'll do brilliantly. Mm, I'll try. Phoenix Gate. May the blessing of the crystals go with us and shield the fireless flame forever. His grace departs. Open the gates.
Lord Rostin, allow me. I shall see her safely to Phoenix Gate. Thank you. We're ready to depart, my lord. The boys. The squad is here. Honor it is to serve alongside you. This is to be no mere investigation. If there are goblins in Stillwind, they won't leave willingly. We could just ask them politely. The beastmen are a fierce foe. We underestimate them at our peril. Not today, we won't. So wait. Sir Tyler, let us do our duty. With pleasure, my lord. As you command. To the marshes, then. And may the blessing of the crystals go with us. So we can go on over to the place, the, the, the marshes, I guess world map so you can travel on the world map to Stellwind which is where we'll be going to fight off some goblins guys there'll be goblins hanging about apparently we need to teach them a lesson Keep your eyes open for those goblins. The reports place them in this area. It's all swamps from here. Watch your step, my lord. <laughs> and everything else. Do you know this kind of reminds me of the area in Final Fantasy VII Crisis Core? Um, just like at the beginning of the game. It's kind of like the same passageway. So there's time like accessories. These basically are things that make the game easier. So like it gives you auto dodge or health. I'm not gonna be using that. But who do you imagine would maintain it? They've all fled from the blight. I feel like putting hard to believe that anyone used to live here. The items the on is ahead. They make the game easier. There's a lot left of it. it should have been an option on the harder difficulty to begin with. Like, well, not that this is the harder difficulty, but there was like, oh, this is story driven, this is combat driven. I don't feel like it should have been an option for the combat driven, oh, like, difficulty. What's the point in that? I'm pretty sure the gasp was louder than the twig snapping. With me. Let's go. Forevermore. I really like being able to just stab them down like that. Oh, and we have experience points as well. So the reports were true. We should press on. There may be more ahead. But first of all, let's um go to the abilities. So I unlocked um the and that was like oh channel your fire. I don't actually think that's really that useful. Um, we unlocked a few things because we got a few more points. But what would be more useful for it to us right now? Not something I used. Not something I used. Oh, this is something I used. Yeah, so we got we unlocked this, but you know what? I never really used it. Um, why not? Yeah, again, it's not something I used, but and I was going for this. I can't remember if I actually got that or if I just spent my points on something else. That's definitely what I was going for next. Because I do like the way that you can execute a 
counter-attack in this game. If you time your dodge as well. Which is you should be rewarded with. Um, good dodges, good damage. But we'll make Welcome our way through the marshes. Of care, my lord. Where we're going to encounter possibly more There's enemies. More. I don't know if I had told me about that yet, but I did it. I think if you just knock them down, you get the mortal blow, which is cool. I need to remember the circle is not dodged, though. Yep, so some enemies will drop Gel once you defeat them. And you'll automatically pick the Gel up, is what that was saying. As you can see. Um, not sure if there was a specific way I went. I think I went into the house to get the item. Um, and then we just went on our way. Oh, when you pick up... So right now I think I have... Oh, you can get four potions. Um, as you can see. And any more potions you pick up are just going to get automatically applied to your health. So don't waste... Like, if you need to heal, you're, you don't need to like be, Oh, I'm going to heal. You're going to pick up potions and it's going to automatically heal you anyway. Like, there you go. You can see that I automatically healed despite the fact I um, I didn't press heal. It's just the fact that I had four potions. I don't know if the inventory gets increased at some point. I was definitely not far enough in the game to know that. Um, I wouldn't mind the inventory getting increased. Especially maybe, I don't know if um, Curaga and Cura and all that jazz are in this game. Um, like, uh, from a point of, I don't know if this character can use it. I also don't know if you play as multiple characters or you just play it as the one character. I would like it to be multiple characters. Watch out, my lord. And yet again, I would like it if there's female members in my party. Because a game like Final Fantasy 15, where you only had male characters, I mean, it's fine, but I want female characters in my party. It's fine, I know I'm gonna catch more potions at some point. Thanks. Uh, came from that way. Was there any items that I can acquire? Yes. There was one here. I remember. And as you can see, it was a potion, so I just gained all my health back. No point stressing about your health in this game. Unless you're in the middle of a fight, obviously then maybe stress a bit about your health. You're dying. Well, I'm not dying. We We're good. Should be nearing the old village square. It might not be a nest of goblins. Get the wee cheeky buggers. Sneaky sods. <laughs> or that. Trapped. Cheeky Lord. sods. Or sorry, Working sneaky. Right. He's the leader. No, it's that waist cloth's a bit small. I will have to take care of his followers first. To the As if you have to ask. Oh. You're just chilling over here in the back? You're doing your sorceries? There we go. I love the little dash, honestly. It makes the difference. Did I give you an option to talk to him there? I feel like a dialogue option just popped up. And uh, gives a wee shout for Big Ogre Man. Gigas? I believe it was a Gigas. And 
And now it's going to teach us about the stagger bar. Enemies are going to kind of have stagger bars. And when they do, if you uh, clear the stagger bar, it'll be staggered for a while. Oh, smacked right in the face by it. Swift's recovery, though. Wanna get a parry on? Come on, let me get a parry on. Partial stagger. When you get them halfway, they'll be partially staggered. Which makes them kind of reel back like that. I get precision dodge going on, but I haven't got a... Uh... There you go. I didn't get a counter yet. I hadn't been pressing the button right after. But as you can see, it is staggered. And we're going to bar in on this. We get extra damage. And we get this. And it'll tell us at the end how much damage we do. I did kind of ask in chat, uh, was there any way to be doing more damage or is it just kind of pressing square? And I was told it is pretty much just pressing square at this point in the game. Oh, smacked right in the face. Oh, smacked right in the face. I refuse to need to heal. Oh, easy, easy dodge. I didn't, I didn't really know I dodged. You can tell I don't know if I've actually got the dodge by the fact I don't try to do a counter attack. I was gonna say, we've pretty much got him though. We'll probably get him in this stagger heal. Yeah, there we go. Gigas has been slain. So he didn't give me anything. Did he give me something last time? Did he not give me like iron played something? No. Oh, there you go. So he does still give me the same thing. That's fine. Just because it said it kind of depends on how well you did battle. I was worried in case I could miss it. Are you angry? Did I kill your dad? I'm so sorry. Come back and, fight, you coward. <laughs> and at this point... That was the exact, that was pretty much exactly what I said and then the character said, I was like, this is me, that is my character, guys. He is me, apparently, we think the same things. Uh, let's just equip these on straight away like I did and be on with it. So we'll get our items. Uh, I think upon level up, you get your health back. Still quite, haven't quite, yeah, it said insufficient. Uh, inventory space so upon leveling up i'm pretty sure you just get your health back you don't need to worry about it but between fights i think you if you are low health you'll stay at low health um until you use a potion or if you just like absorb a potion from walking by it and not being able to use it but we're coming from and out of the frying pan we go this ends now Frying pan, say hello to fire. A big ol' it's not called a Malboro, apparently. A borable. But it's pretty much a Malboro. Yeah, I ain't staying near that at all. Hit the butt is always the tactic. Oh, get out of the way of bad breath. I actually don't know what happens if that hits you. Like if you get... Stay away from its mouth. I need to remember to actually. Oh, I did a precision dodge. I actually thought I got hit there. I felt like I got hit. And easily staggered. Just keep the combos going. I'm getting better at using the fire thing. I was quite bad at that, but I can feel like I'm getting better at it at least now. 
going for a, a little death indulgent dive. This is as good as mine. So I'm gonna run over here despite the fact it makes no difference. And he's gonna give me the bad suck, guys. He's got the bad breath and he's definitely got the bad suck. And our, our battery's running out, but it's fine. We have a charger, a controller on charge for now. So this is where it's like, yeah, by the way, you've got Q2Es. If it's blue, you press um, square. And you get an automatic stagger for doing so. Which is great. I mean, we take the extra damage. We do as much damage as we can. I didn't move away in time. Some very stinky breath. Nearly staggered it. There we go, got the stagger. We should be able to get the. Yep, there we are. Wanna get that in because it does a lot of damage. See, we're doing a good amount of damage to it each stagger at least. And it's gonna do this again. No, we're just gonna chill. It's gonna go away from us. We're gonna wait for it to give us that bad, bad suck. And I just be like, yo, sometimes uh, when they're, so if they're attacking you, you're gonna hit R1. If you're attacking them, you're hitting square. So it's dodge and attack. Get as much damage in as we can. Get away from it. I didn't get away from it quick enough again. Jumping seems so weird in this game. Oh. So it's gonna get angry with us. We don't want to get anything to do with that. You can press triangle from a distance, and that will um, shoot magic at it. I just haven't found that magic's very powerful in this game yet. I knew that I was going to do that, I just didn't care. Oh, I keep pressing the wrong button. It's this button to dodge. Hit it with magic while we're running. I mean, you can hit it with magic while it's doing stuff like it was charging there and I couldn't hit so may as well hit it with the magic and it's dead so we did a lot better these times around obviously I didn't need to heal at all for either of those fights I took damage just kind of willingly and we got a level up Thought I'd see it. I hope that's some fine water. Not just goblins in Rosaria, but morbles too. I'll petition His Grace to send a detachment. If we don't stop them here, they'll be at our gates before long. We should get moving. We don't want to be caught out here after dark. If we set off now, we can still reach Phoenix Gate before nightfall. I was kind of hoping we could get um, a Morbles one, because we didn't do this last time. A common species of beastmen. While at first glance they may seem like mindless petters, goblins have their own unique language and are skilled enough to both cast magics and r make rudimentary tools and weapons. While mostly found on the continent of the storm, the spread of the blight has forced them to find homes nearby human settlements, a move that often ends in misunderstanding and bloodshed. A loyal shield to Rosaria and a scion of the noble family, Tyler followed in his father's footsteps in entering the service of the 
duchy, rising to the position of the right-hand man of Lord Commander. He was chosen by Lord Murdoch to accompany Clive on his expedition to Stillwind, a level head who could be trusted not only to obey the young Lord Marcus' orders and keep him safe, but to help him keep the fiery Sir Wade in line. And let's see about Sir Wade. A loyal shielder, Zarya, chosen by the Lord Commander Rodney. Murdoch to accompany... Uh, Lord Commander Rodney. Murdoch. To accompany Clive on his expedition to Stillwind. Once but a lowborn page, Wade was inspired to join the ranks after a woodpile fell on him and his life was saved by young Joshua. So originally we actually only read that after uh, a scene that happens later on when we see Wade interact with Joshua. And I thought that was a really nice touch of uh, lore that we get there for that. Um... An area of swamp land that stretches northeast from the Ro Rosalith Castle. The odd village could once be found here, but nothing to compare to the lively settlements that line the main roads of the realm. And with the encroachment of the blight and the creatures driven before it, even the scant settlements were soon des deserted. So, a little bit of information. We got a little bit more that we didn't. We never, got the go we never read the goblins one previously. So it's always nice to get that a little bit extra. So my time of redoing all this is, a you know, we get, we get a little bit of sprinkles. Yeah. And so that's us done with the the swamp area, and we're gonna make our way over to the Phoenix Gate where everyone is waiting. Some time later. Just a small time skip though. Just a small one, guys. And look at the baby. What a good baby. Wait till you hear this. Wait till you hear this. His lordship draws his sword. The goblin chief runs off screaming straight down our mama's gullet. More tales. Drink and be merry, boys. Good work on the morrow. Must be gratifying to see your student making such a name for himself. Lord has a bright future ahead of him. Aye, and one of these nights he may even deign to join us. <laughs> <laughs> I always like scenes like this in movies and stuff where it's like camaraderie and brother in arms. I really like it. It's always very wholesome and like I love seeing feasts and stuff. Wait, can I, I get? Can I get the? Oh damn! I was hoping we could get um. So what does it mean if they have a new one? Is it got like a wee this? Lord Commander of the Rosarian Army, outranked by only the Archduke Erwin. It's not only his liege lord, but his firm friend. The two share an unshakable bond of trust. Erwin consulting with Ronnie on all military matters. So if it has the wee blue thing, that means it's a new thing, right? The loyal, the loyal sold their soldiery, soldiery? I still don't know if I'm, that's right, of the Duchy of Rosaria. They serve under the standing army's Lord Commander, whose task is to enact uh, the will of their sovereign, the Archduke. Those who show sufficient aptitude, or who are blessed with the sufficient ability of birth, are made shields, personal retainers to the Archduke himself. A wall, a walled keep situated near Rosaria's northern west border. It was originally constructed to serve as an outpost in the wars against the northern territories, but its true significance lies deep within the ruins atop which the stronghold stands. Here, in an ancient chamber accessible only to the Domino Fire, is held the rite of ancestral communion, an important ritual in which it is believed that the phoenix can hear the words of the duchy's forebears. And a nation occupying the western reaches of the continent, the storm, with Ros Rosalith as its capital, Rosaria was originally formed for a collection of smaller dominions, all of which now stand united under the banner of the Archduke Elwyn Rosfield. Not possessing a mother crystal of its own, the duchy has long been locked in a bitter conflict with the Iron Kingdom over possession of the Drake's Breath, which lies still further to the west in the midst of the Boiling Sea. I see that's carrots on his plate. That's why I wanted to check something. <laughs> Turn it, turn it, turn it. Are you unwell? No, father. I'm just a little tired. Well, it has been a long day. So 
they all like Clyde, don't they? Hmm, aye. Your brother will be a fine shield. We're all very proud of him. Father? Why is it that the Dominus is always born into our family? That doesn't seem fair. We cannot live without the blessing of the crystals. And the crystals work their magic through us. You have been blessed, Yoshua. Blessed to be a Dominant. To wield the power of an icon. Our family has been chosen to share that power with the people. So that is what we must do. He's such a sulky child. How old is uh, Joshua supposed to actually be here? I pegged him on like seven or eight. Because what well, we learned that Clive was, I was told Clive was about 29 before the flashback. So it was like 12 or 13 years later. So he's like 16, 17. So I mean, I can't imagine Joshua being that much younger than him. Could be wondering how you got to. Uh -huh. So much for you being a fine hound. Hey, he is the finest of hounds. We will protect him at all costs. I will kill every character so that dog survives. So this is where you've been hiding. What are you doing out here? I didn't see you at the feast. Feasts are the only time shields are allowed to take their ease, and I've never really been one for cakes and ale. It's the vegetables I don't like. <laughs> Ah, it does give it good. Second son of the Archduke of Rosario, Joshua was appointed heir due to the heir to the ducal throne by virtue of his awakening as the dominant of the Phoenix. His love and admiration for Zelda Robert Clive is absolute, and is only t and is only too proud to have him serve as his first shield. His love for carrots, less so. <laughs> I I just found oh my god, we never got to see this, guys. This is the best part. The best part about replaying it. We get to read Torkoal. Clive's faithful friend brought back from one of the Archduke Elwyn's expeditions to the frozen northern territory. Uh, wait, it's Clive's faithful friend. I thought it was um belonged to. I, I thought I thought I thought um Torgal belonged to Jelda. Uh, where he was found half starved and shivered in a snow field, having presumably been separated from his pack. Elwyn gifted the puppy to Clive upon his return, and the two became nine separable. Oh, adorable! I thought um I generally thought that um Torgal belonged to Jell because you always. See Torgal with Jill. Um, yep, that's all I needed to know. I didn't expect the Torgal. I'm very happy by it though. I hear you slew a marble. All the men were singing your praises. Whatever you still. When I joined the ranks, everyone thought I was a spoiled little lordling. If I didn't know how to handle a sword, I'd be a laughing stock. The Archduke's firstborn favourite. You're the one they really believe in. I'm jealous. That's not true. They don't believe in me. They believe in the power of the dominant. My brother, the Phoenix, ruler over life and death. It wasn't fair. It should have been you. I don't have what it takes to lead our people. I don't have the strength. But you do.
It'll come with age, surely. Every man has his duty. Ours was decided long ago, when our ancestors chose to instate the Dominant as the Archduke of Rosaria. All to ensure that whenever our nation stood on a precipice, the Phoenix would rise from the flames to drag us back from the brink. The fate of Rosaria sits on the Dominant's shoulders. It is your duty to bear that burden. What about you? I was born to be your shield. That is why I was given the Phoenix's blessing. To keep our future rulers safe. No matter what. However hard it gets. I'll never let you down. Thank you, Clive. I know you'll always take care of me. Games like this always have to have sickly die. siblings. Past my bedtime. <laughs> what about what Torgal? Torgal? What about Torgal's bedtime, huh? So just in case, if anything was- Oh my god, how did things get updated like this? How did- How? It's been the same cutscene! First shield? Title granted to the Midas is the most stalwart shield of the Rosarian army. The first shield is entrusted with the personal protection of the Dominant of the Phoenix, and is gifted a portion of the I Icon's power over flame. So Icon is what they call the summons in this game. Since it has used the terminology here, I'll let you know. Icon is what the summons are. If I call, continue to call them summons, please excuse me. But I just know them as summons. Um, it's not, I mean, they are summons. Like It's not like they're called necessarily summons in most games. They're normally like called... Um, Idolins, Icons, Aeons, but I just normally just call them summons as a flat term. Um, a boon known as the Blessing of the Phoenix. Uh, we also have House Rossfield. The highest of the noble house of Rosaria, the dominant of the Phoenix is always born into the Rossfield line, as it was always the Rossfield who sits upon the Duckle throne. I want to say Duckle, right? Duckle? 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 But like I said, it's good to get these wee tiny bits of things that I miss. I'm just really happy I got Torgles. So I'm like, look at this baby. Don't you just want to ruffle its little cheeks? Little baby cheeks. from the capital. You took your time sampling the wares, were ya? <laughs> <laughs> Man just sounds like he's on drugs. It makes me, the, it made me laugh the first time and it, it makes me laugh the, the second. <laughs> Traders keen to keep us in line. Expel down for the boys on duty. Oh, he wasn't looking when it happened. I was like, why didn't he? Why did he turn his back? But he actually wasn't looking when he got his next slit. I was wondering the first time why he would turn his back to the traders if one of them just slit his friend's neck. But that makes sense. It adds up. It adds up a little bit more. Secured, Captain. You proceed as planned. So that actually says Duckle Shield. So that that means that that's someone who is betraying the house. Um, correct? Because this is the Duckle family here? Or yeah. So that's not actually someone who is um with the Imperial. Well it is obviously he obviously is with the Imperial, but he's betrayed the Imperial? Hmm. Can I? Nothing new, nothing new.
that. Forgive me, my prince. It's me, Wade. You probably don't remember me. I remember. What is it? We're under attack. I don't know who they are, but they've set light to half the castle. I must get you to safety, your highness. Very well. He's so calm about the fact we're being me, infiltrated. Highness. He's like, very well. Okay. You may take me where I must go. Flight of the fledgling. I had to check it, open up the Twitch, and be like, where did I actually, um... Where did I stop for the next part? I couldn't remember if I stopped here or if I stopped in a bit, but it's in a bit. I'm afraid so, your highness. We must hurry. Oh, the sickly child has to walk slowly every now and then. What was that? A pain scream. That's what it was. Did you not read the subtitles? Them. See? He can't see without his subtitles. Everything's on fire. I mean, you're like the phoenix. Is that really that big a deal? No. So we're just gonna fireball them, honestly. Every time you fireball them, they're gonna... He's gonna fall down like this. See, like, the music gets really loud. Or at least I think it gets quite loud. In comparison to how it normally is. During dramatic scenes. I saw them at the feast. And they were laughing. Well, I mean, they're not laughing anymore. This is Sabra Horgob. Why would the Empire... He must be my father. Let, let the child go first, guys. Alright, start throwing fireballs. Did I miss? God damn it. Just have him do all the all the damage. I'm not hitting a single person. Um, I don't know, keep your friends close and your enemies closer? There's nothing down there. I was going to run back down there, but there's no item. Just disappointment. He died very quickly. That's my boy. See if there are any updates. Nope, no updates. Damn it! His wounds are deep. I can save him. Don't worry, you're going to be all right. Grace, Lord Murdoch. You rescued the young prince. Well done, Sir Wade. I'm in your debt, soldier. Thank you, Your Grace. <laughs> Straight for the rear gate. Emily. 
the lust along to a sound relief. May the winds speed you to Rosalith. North gates up ahead. There are chocobos in the stables. Father, she says chocobos and not chocobos. Whoa, we are going without you. You're supposed to be my shield, remember? I remember, which is why I'm going to hold the enemy here while you make your escape. I will order our remaining forces to rally at the gate. Now go. I will do my duty. You must do your duty too. No. You have to keep Father safe. I'm counting on you, Joshua. And so we go in to challenge what's left but before we do that we are going to end up there guys so thank you so much for watching make sure to poke that like button subscribe and comment your comments because they are comments we'll be back very very soon with more uh we're nearly to the point that um that i got to so there's that but yeah uh see you guys next time bye